Now, the NTSA is tightening its belt on those who defy traffic rules. And they have said that matatus can only pick passengers at designated stages. And they've also said that licenses of SACOs of public service vehicles who are found picking passengers at those undesignated stages will be revoked. This is in a bid to prevent terror attacks. Matatu operators have also been told not to carry passengers who have not been screened. This comes as the director of the public prosecutions withdrew charges against the crew members of the two buses in the Thika Road blast on Sunday. In a bid to prevent terror attacks, the Minister of Transport met with stakeholders in public transport to sensitize them on deterring terrorists. You see, of course, they were taught how to screen passengers as well as detecting weapons like hand grenades. They were also shown a sample of an improvised explosive device that has been assembled using ball bearings. According to police, terrorists are now using ball bearings and nails to make lethal bombs. The government says all passengers and luggage must be screened and matatus should not pick passengers at undesignated bus stops. We find any circle picking passengers from undesignated stops, withdraw the license, let us discuss when they are off the road. TSV operators argued Duva's directive would cripple the sector and deny passengers along the routes a right to board vehicles to their destination. But they could not convince the PS. From City Mochari roundabout until Dagoretti, how many bus stops are there? How many? So what is the problem? Why should everyone who comes out of his house right from the door be picked at his gate? These people are intelligent. Wakiona wanakazi wa kwa stage, wanaaza enda kwale kwa barabara kwa sababu barabara matatu ikipita, haraka haraka ingia tuende. Utakuwa meangalio yu mtu. PSV operators must now fully comply with the new transport safety regulations. We want to be sure that you have an office. We want to be sure that you have designated officers. We want to be sure that your drivers are now employed that you have registered them with NSSF, NHIF, that they have PIN numbers. A spot check at the Hills Lassimoy Avenue roundabout showed current state of affairs where Matatu speak passengers at any opportune spot. Passengers who are reluctant to board at the nearby designated terminal have come here despite this board that clearly wants not to pick passengers at the spot. Passengers still scramble for seats and checked together with their luggage. Yo mambo ya ukauzi hapo tujajua. Kwa sababu hatuwezi anza hivi hivi waenda kwa kuanza kuchukua kifaa kuanza kukagua mtu. Lazima utaratibu ikuwe. Tuko na sacos. Sacos kama iko na hiyo strategy ya kutafuta hizo vifaa ituletea si tuko tayari. However, some sacos have made it mandatory to freeze passengers and their luggage. Kama ni mama wa soko lazima tuangalie mfuko yao inakuwa na nini sababu ni mambo ya security. Sasa kwa mtu anatoka soko na ameribwa pesa na kuja kuleta mahapa. Na wale wameingia bila kukakuliwa that is really very risky especially now when the country is really tense. Some PSV operators urged the government to ensure train commuters are also frisked. How about when these Arushabab guys will change the tactic such that they go and throw something at the train? How many Kenyans are going to lose their lives? Meanwhile, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Kiria Kotobiko, with the due charges against five crew members who were accused of failing to prevent Sunday's thicker highway twin blasts. They faced murder charges for failing to screen passengers. Tobiko said the case was unsustainable. The five, two drivers and three conductors, were this evening released from committee maximum security prison. Security is everyone's responsibility. Some circles have taken seriously the idea of freezing passengers, while others have neglected it. Patrick Amimo, KTN, Friday.